enjoy the time, so it always feels nice when you get back in there and grab that win, but holy moly, how's the buckets right there, Ronnie? And again, if she's gonna get the win over Bronte, that's a huge advantage for her. She's strong, she's got perfect timing. We always talk about her timing. That was one of the better waves we've seen from her in a while. Well, let's see what Bronte can do with her rod. A lot of quicker off the bottom there, but that was a tricky wave to navigate. A bit of a closeout on the reef there, so not a score for Bronte. Huge advantage for Bianca. Well, a little bit of that, that point break approach I thought was on display there when Bianca took off on her wave. 8.93, the score. Slightly shallower bottom turns from Bronte. Mm. Yeah, she cuts across the water. She doesn't get dig as much rail. I also don't see from Bronte uh, much of a pivot. She likes to kind of have a wide arc in her bottom turn. So a lot of speed, but that's something she could take a look at. If there's a section right there at 12 o'clock, she might want to pivot and take that sharper angle. We might try and get a comparison on, on both their approaches to the lip because Bianca, she certainly drops down way more out onto the flats. And as a result, her approach to the lip is much more vertical and mm. a little tighter right in the critical part of the wave. And it, it, as a result, she slows her tempo down. She likes to get in front and take that, that kind of a slower pivot so that she can time that really, that money section we've been talking about. Wiggly is one of those guys that really exposes that. Same kind of surfing for Bianca. She just loves to, you know, throw that big hook in the pocket and, and throw spray.